Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Today I am going off to see the shape of water. I don't know what shape it is, whether it's square, oblong, circular, triangular, but we'll find out. Uh, also, while I'm over there, I'll do my little review afterwards, but also while I'm over Westwood Cross, I'm going to pop into the range as well. The one over there, I haven't been over there for quite a while, so I'm going to go and have a look, see if there's any new canvas and, and some toys and shit like that. So let's get on the road and I'll see you over at View Cinema very shortly. Oh, it's nice and sunny today, guys, so... Oh, so we ha here we are at View. I'm about to go in and watch Shape of Water. Two hours later. Okay, guys, so just got out of Shape of Water. Really enjoyed that film. Really enjoyed it. Uh, kind of a throwback to like the old 50s movies. Uh, I see there was some nods in there to some classic movies. Uh, and more specifically, obviously, is The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Great cast, Sally Hawkins, absolutely fantastic, did a brilliant job. If she doesn't get the Best Actress Oscar, then something's really wrong. But she was absolutely fantastic and mes mesmerising as well. Um, Michael Shannon playing the villain, really good, I really enjoyed him. Of course, Toby Jones stole the whole film, really. Well, him and Sally Hawkins. Toby Jones, who's been in a lot of Gimmo uh, de Toro movies before, and also he's Lieutenant Saru from Star Trek Discovery. So it's nice to see him doing his characters again in full body makeup. Enjoyed him a lot in, uh, in the Hellboy movies. So if you're not familiar with the actual story, um, it's about this woman, Eliza, played by Sally Hawkins, who lives above this old cinema. And her daily routine is getting up, having a pleasurable bath, <laughs> um, having her breakfast, going to work, and she works in this like secret laboratory. Not one of these pristine white coat and absolutely spotless ones but it's quite dirty so as you would imagine in like the 50s or the cold the cold war type of era uh, and she's a cleaner along with her, her friend uh, Zelda and they just do the mopping up and the cleaning and it's kind of like a research laboratory because they've got all this equipment in there uh, and they bring in this new subject which is to know, unknown to them to start with but it was brought in in this like big water tank uh, and it turns out to be like the creature from the black lagoon it's all about the relationship between sally hawkins character and this actual creature uh, she gets to know him and he gets to trust her uh, and it turns into like a love story so um it's very some of it's very touching as well obviously he's being mistreated by the military as they always are uh, they want to use him want to test him take his blood and all that kind of stuff and see what makes him tick so it's up to them to hatch a breakout so they're going to break him out and set him free uh, it's a really nice film really touching film i love the music it's kind of a very 50s 60s kind of swing type music some of it yeah a bit of espionage in there as well with some other characters but all in all, I really enjoyed it. Sally Hawkins' character is, is a mute, so she can hear, but uh, she can't speak. Uh, and she's been like that since, since she was born. So a lot of it is sign language and um, lip reading and that kind of thing. But um, it's really nice to watch. It's kind of mesmerising. When you see her character and Toby Jones together, it's like you're just fixated on those two characters. You don't care about anything else that's going on around it. And you could just watch those characters interacting for ages. So I was really, really enjoyed the whole film. Uh, it didn't lag anywhere. Um, there was some chase scenes. Typical Guillermo de Toro movie. It's what you would expect. Uh, and it was a really enjoyable film. So whether it gets Best Picture at the Oscars, I don't know. But... All I could know is that Sally Hawkins definitely needs to get the best actress. So, uh, really enjoyed the movie. 
so I'll definitely give it a thumbs up and advise you to go and see it if you haven't seen it. So I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it four and a half big poolies because I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that it's not pissing it hard with rain as I've come out because I feel like I'm soaked watching the film anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're here at the range. So let's pop in there and have a look, see if they've got anything in there. So I don't know if they've got any canvas. Or maybe they've just got some like style stuff, that type of thing. So I'm gonna pop in there and have a look around. And then I'm gonna go get something to eat because there's something I wanna try. So I've actually got some pops I noticed in here. Some of them are $9.99, some of them are $12.99. So we've got Thor and Loki. And we've got some, yeah, Thor Ragnarok ones. So we've got Hulk and Rocket as well. So that's pretty good. And also we've got some other ones down here as well. Foxy the pirate and a couple of other rockets as well. So the health and beauty section and they've got some uh, minion stuff here. So it's got some hand walking and <laughs> it actually makes a noise. What the hell? And also some shower gel. But I like these. I mean that one's that one's lost his head but Shut up, Minion. You've got the Hulk there. <laughs> Captain America. And Iron Man. Yeah, pretty good they are. Well, shut up. Right, okay, so let's find a canvas. Ooh. Very nice poster. So down here, no. Uh, no, not here. Okay, so we've got the Deadpool one. That was the other branch. Uh, plus the Hulk. And also, yeah, it looks like they've got the same ones, plus the Justice League one there as well. And cars. Okay, so they only had those few ones, but they were the same ones that were at the other store. So I'm just going to go over to the toy section and see if there's anything interesting over there. Looks like they're sort of like getting ready for summer and spring with the barbecues and it's only February. So let's go and have a look over at the toy. Okay, so we've got some more Minion stuff here and we've got uh, Jurassic World Creation Lab Discovery Kit. On sale for £9.99 and more minion stuff, lots more minion stuff. Got some big Marvel figures down here, that's quite a good one. And then we've got some pop final figures from uh, The Secret Life of Pets. So we've got Gidget there. Duke, plus also a couple of other ones. And that one's a bit battered. And there's 649. Plus also some like fluffy snowball up here and some hand puppet stuff. Okay, so just got out of McDonald's. Um, I've got my cappuccino, oh, which I've been waiting for all day. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and I thought, I've been good. Honestly, <laughs> I have been good. So I thought, I haven't had any dinner today. And I saw this advertised on telly a couple of days ago. And I thought, and it's been advertised at the cinema. And I know I'm naughty, but you've got to indulge every now and again, haven't you? So I got something called a Grand Big Mac. Which, looking at the fat and the sugar and the calories, 
All right, that's my food for the week done. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a look, have a little peep. Holy crapping shit. I might have made a mistake getting that. What, are you supposed, is, is this for one person? What the fuck is that? Oh my God. I thought the, um, the big and tasty was bad, was big. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have a, just a little bite. Yeah, that's nice. I don't do it that often. Oh my God. Cheeky buggers. After all, give me all this, plus some fries as well. Didn't even get any fucking tissues, any handkerchiefs. Do you have to ask for them now? I thought they'd just give them in the pack. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to continue shoving this down my gob. Um, and we'll have a few words afterwards. One eternity later. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's never do that again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a whopper. Now that's Big Mac. That's Burger King, isn't it? Anyway. We've got that out of our system. It's quite tasty. Oh shit. Right, between our slot, between you and me, let's never let Lulu and Claire know that I had that. Shit, they might watch the video. <laughs> oh, I'm choking on my burger. Anyway. Thanks for watching the video. Oh, excuse me. Poor you fat pig. I'm going off home now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see everyone on the next video. Bye!